Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's Girl Fanny Longo back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, uh, my name is Fanny Longo. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Please check us out on Facebook and Instagram as Fanny and Jesse. Head there, say hi, we'll say hi back. Uh, check out our second YouTube channel called Fanny and Jesse 2.0. Head there, subscribe, and enjoy the content that we put out. Thank you for 20,000 subscribers. Please keep subscribing, keep liking, keep commenting, keep sharing. Just keep on interacting with the content that we're putting out. And please um, refer stuff for me to react to. Just suggest something down below and I'll be more than glad to react to it. So today I'm actually going to be reacting to admitting Islam is not a tolerant religion, Yusuf Estes. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. That Islam should not be considered a tolerant religion. Not that it's aggressive and hurting people, but uh, the opposite, really, that it doesn't tolerate other people, anyone, to be aggressive and hurt each other. It doesn't tolerate that. That's not the kind of mercy we're talking about when we talk about Allah's mercy. In other words, if you said, oh, well, this person did this and this and so and so, and not, oh, Allah's merciful, they can keep getting away with it. No, they can't. But if a person makes a mistake and they're sincere in their seeking of forgiveness, then Allah forgives them. But Islam also teaches us that even if Allah forgives somebody, the person they damaged still has rights on that person. I want to give you, this is a general statement, but it would apply in the case of women being abused as well, but this is just a, I can't, you know, manipulate something. I have to tell you how it came, and then you can see for yourself how it could be applied here. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, asked his companions, who are the poor people? And they said the mesakin, the poverty-stricken. He said, no. He said, the real poorest of all people are those who come on the day of judgment with a mountain of good deeds. But the line of people, who, the people lined up in front of them, see, to take their rights on that person because they damaged somebody. So a person comes and for the damage that was done to them, they're allowed to take good deeds away from this person and the line goes on and on and on until, until the person has no good deeds left. And there's still a line of people there getting their rights. So that now, because he has no good deeds to pay with, they begin to put their sins onto him. And that's fair. You damage somebody for this or that, you take the sin off of them and you'll pay that. Until, as a result, that person winds up going to hell. So that's how serious it is in Islam and how clear it is that people have rights. Even if Allah forgives you, that doesn't mean the people did. If you owe money before you come to Islam, you accept Islam and all debts are forgiven with Allah. But you still owe to the people. And this is clear also, I want to make this clear, for Muslims and the non-Muslims living in countries where they allow this usury, which is almost every country in the world today, deals in what's called riba, or usury, or interest on money. Islam doesn't permit that. You're not supposed to do that. You can lease property, you can do different kind of creative buying and things like this, selling and so on. But the actual interest charging money to use money, in other words, renting money, is not permissible. The same thing in the Old Testament, by the way. It's not something new. So when a person comes to Islam, everything is forgiven. Allah forgives him for this. A very serious sin. But even though Allah forgave him for the sin, they still have to pay the money they owe. Because I found some of the brothers in my country who said, well, I came to Islam. I don't owe that money anymore. Nope. You still owe it. You still have to pay it. So I think that helps you to better understand 
the, how critical it is in Islam that we know that Islam does not tolerate taking advantage of people, manipulating, hurting in any way other people. Now that's whether it's economic, physical, emotional, any kind of duress, all of these things, if a person does it, then they'll either pay for it in this life or they're going to pay for it in the next life, or both. I love this. I actually love videos that are realistic because you just can't be scot free after you borrowed something from someone. That person is too uh, expecting a payment back, you know, and it would only be fair that you still pay them despite having converted to a different religion. Um, this speaks volumes. Also, about the tolerance level, um, I actually respect how not tolerant they are. You don't have to tolerate everything in this world. Something is disrespecting what you believe in, the laws, the people, the culture of the religion, and just saying, ah, that's fine because we're modern. Ah, that, no. Mm -mm -mm. We have to respect what we believe in that's always the key to number one respect something i love how the fact that because of this non-tolerant vibe or thing that goes on other people are actually too forced to respect islam for what it is it's very very few people that will come out and actually dis disrespect islam very few people very few people have the guts to actually say what they want to say and that should say something to you why can't the rest of the world be like this why can't the rest of the world understand that you just can't change something to suit you you just can't change something we've believed in for over a thousand years you just can't change things as you will people need to understand that and um that's what I'm saying to me. It's actually a good thing. It's a very, very good thing that they don't tolerate just anything. They've stuck with what they know. They're sticking to what they know. And they're still taking it to the future with, with them. Despite how the world keeps evolving. Despite new technology. Despite wherever we're ended. They still respect their religion as it is. And nothing shakes them no one shakes them that's the beauty of islam itself as as far as i'm concerned that's what i've seen otherwise you guys can tell me what you think about what yusuf is decided to say um do you think islam is just too much do you think they should tolerate some things do you think they should continue with whatever they've believed in and whatever they've been doing so far because it seems to be working for them uh your uh, responses would actually be welcome Feel free to answer my questions down below. Feel free to comment about my opinions down below. We'll read your comments. We'll reply with time. And yeah, so just let me know if there's anything you guys want me to react to. Drop the link or the name down below and I'll be more than glad to react to them. Otherwise, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and of course, do not forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next reaction video.